Finishing beef can be one of the most expensive time periods in a beef production system, with up to 70% of fixed costs being feed. As beef mature, feed efficiency tends to drop, meaning that it takes us an increased amount of dry matter in order to gain weight. The finishing period typically starts at 450 kilos, at which time energy demands start to increase and our protein demands start to decrease, as um, most of frame growth has already been achieved and we're looking to maximise the amount of lean muscle and also fat cover on the animal to get them to their finished slaughter weight. The UK has a wide variety of finishing systems available due to the vast differences in climate and topography as we go across the country. This can range from extensive grass-based systems to intensive cereal-based systems and everything in between. This video is discussing those systems and um, to aid decision making in what um, system might suit your herd best. Grass is one of the cheapest sources of energy and protein we have available to us on farm. A grass-based finishing system suits native bred steers um, and heifers ideally, allowing them a slower growth period but with a really high energy top quality feed. It relies on really well managed pasture and a high energy density um, and, we're, and we're aiming to kind of achieve that one kilo a day daily live weight gain in finishing with a grass-based system. If we're kind of falling below that one kilo a day, ideally we maybe need to consider looking at other options for finishing cattle, whether we can have them housed or sell them as store and look to give them to another finishing system instead. When we're looking at a grass-based system, grass quality tends to decrease as grass growth increases. So we start to get more stem and in which when we get more stem, we lose energy, we gain fibre and we lose that really, really energy dense feed that we're requiring and finishing to gain those weight gains. So ideally, we're looking for kind of a, a grass um, cover at entry of about eight to 10 centimetres and we want to graze it down no further than five centimetres with a really good quality pasture aiming for about kind of 11 and a half ME. So there is plenty of other options for grass-based systems as well. So if grass growth is getting down, we can look at like supplementary forage. Um, there's other kind of species of grass we can use to try and maximise weight gains and other systems such as rotationally grazing, uh, strip grazing systems, utilising red clover. Um, all, these, all this information is available um, on the additional systems on the beef section of the FAST website as well. So I would definitely recommend going there to look at the other options for grass-based finishing. So ideally in summary, we're you know, looking for a really, really high quality grass that's well managed um, and looking for maximum weight gains in that period. So uh, turning kind of spring calves out in summer and they're getting their growth from period of grass and then they're you know wintering inside, we need to get that extra weight gain as we're turning them outside again. Or for autumn calvers, you know, are we trying to get that additional extra, extra weight gain from grass as well? So it is a really versatile system and if well managed, can be really successful for finishing. Um, ideally with a one kilo weight gain, we're aiming for a finish of around 18 to 26 months, depending on your system on farm. So our preserve forage and concentrate based system ideally suits those farms that maybe don't have sufficient grass to finish fully at grazing, but do have a sufficient stock of forage collected during silage making time. So we're looking at a forage source such as grass based silage or, um, or a whole crop um, supplemented with a concentrate source. So ideally for a forage based finish, we need housing available. Um, and it suits a kind of native or continentally bred steer or heifer and we can go for anything from kind of late to early maturing breeds so really suits a wide span of breeds across the system if there is sufficient forage and housing available on farm. The target weight gains we're looking for in a forage based finishing system is around about 1.2 kilos a day so that equates to around a kind of 16 to 18 month finish ideally depending on how the growing period has been managed on farm. When we're looking at concentrate supplementation, this might range from a wide variety of options, such as a kind of whole concentrate mix, um, so it's a coarse mix or a nut um, from a commercial based feed company, or we could use straights such as cereals, so barley, wheat, oats, um, and then supplemented with other um, straights such as distillers dark grains, uh, oil seed meals, or we could use moist coal products such as draft, or kind of bakery waste products, it's also possible to use waste vegetables in a finishing based system also. So there's a wide variety of options for finishing um, in a kind of more forage based finishing system. Leaving, um, leaving options available depending on where you are in the country also to try and get that final fat cover 
on stock as ideally as possible. Sufficient housing and feed space is important in a forage based system, ideally allowing 670 millimetres per cow animal in order to optimise feed intakes um, while we're on a ration based forage system. The concentrate in a forage based finishing system usually makes up around 50 to 60% of dry matter in the ration. This equates to an extra cost of the system that must be considered in terms of variable costs when we're looking at a forage based finishing system. So we need to include feed costs, labour, housing and fuel for feeding out also. So this must all be considered when deciding whether this is the best si um, system for your herd. In summary, it's a really, really good system to be making the most of the forage we have available and utilising preserved forage um, on times of year where we don't have sufficient grazing to allow stock to finish out, um, outside at grazing, um, but also maximising other kind of feed sources that we have available to us, such as coal products, um, or if we already have a source of cereal on farm, we kind of utilise both to get an effective finish at a good, um, good time point for cattle. A cereal based finishing system suits those systems that have a ready source of cereal available on farm already. So things like mixed arable systems that already have their own cereal and a readily available source of it um, in order to finish stock. Cereal um, such as barley is a really high energy product so we're looking at about 13.2 ME and an average protein of around 10-11 but that can vary. Um, so it's worth testing your cereal before looking at a cereal based uh, finishing system also. So ideally a cereal based finishing system suits kind of continentally bred steers or bulls. So the main daily live weight gains we're aiming for is around 1.4 kilos plus in steers and a 1.6 kilo plus in bulls. It is possible to finish heifers on a cereal based finishing system also, but they kind of suit more of a short, sharp finish at the end in order to make sure we're not depositing extra fat into the um, carcass. A cereal based system relies on a kind of readily available source of cereal, but we also need to make sure that that ration is well balanced in order to maintain rumen efficiency and avoid issues with acidosis. For that reason, it's important that we include around about a 12%, 12, 12 to 13% inclusion of straw in the diet to add that extra scratch and fiber. It also um, can be beneficial to treat cereals before using um, a cereal based finishing system with a kind of urea and enzyme based treatment. This brings up the pH of the cereal and also improves the protein content with a bit of a urea addition in there as well. Um, reducing the amount of other brought in proteins that need to be used to balance the mix. We also do need to make sure that protein is balanced in the mix, so sometimes we'll need an additional protein source, such as a distiller's grain or a kind of oil seed meal, um, in order to kind of bring that protein up to around 13% crude protein in the dry matter basis. Another thing to consider with a cereal based fin finishing system is housing. We need to make sure we've got adequate housing available with enough feed space for all stock to consume a good level of cereal. Ideally, we want around 280 millimetres um, feed space available for stock in an ad lib um, cereal based finishing system. In a cereal based system, we could expect intakes to be around 11 kilos for a barley mix for a 500 kilo bull um, consuming. So intakes of barley are high. Over a month period, that can equate to about 31 tonne for 100 herd cattle. So it's, it's really important to make sure we've got adequate cereal available to sustain this system. And of course, brings costs higher. However, with the higher weight gains, um, along with the higher costs, time on farm is greatly reduced. So we definitely have less days um, on farm for those stock on a cereal based system. With a kind of 1.6 kilo um, weight gain achieving about a 12 to 13 month finish and a 1.4 kilo weight gain achieving that kind of 14 to 16 month finish, greatly reducing time on farm for those stock in a cereal based system. If there's insufficient grazing, preserved forage or feed availability on farm, it might be considered to sell stock as store rather than take them onto the finishing period, allowing another unit to finish cattle instead. Store sales typically run um, in the autumn, but go right through the year at many auction markets, or stock can be sold as store direct off farm to the finishing unit. Selling store allows additional space on farm for other stock, such as sucklers or other stock that might be requiring grazing on farm, easing pressure on housing, feed availability and grazing.